Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're gonna to be making something really fun. We're gonna be making Fortnite V-Bucks cookies. Now these are amazing, a lot of fun to make, and very simple to do. So keep watching, and I'll show you step by step how to make these. Now the first thing we need to do to make this is start off by making our cookie part. And to do that in a large bowl, I have one cup, which is two sticks of butter that's softened at room temperature, one and a half cups of, of sugar, just regular plain white sugar, and we're gonna blend this up until that's well combined. So after your sugar and butter is all creamed together, we're gonna to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one large egg. And mix this up. And that's our wet ingredients. We'll just pull this aside and we'll work on our dry ingredients. Now in a separate bowl, I have two and one fourth cup of flour. And to that, I wanna add one teaspoon of baking powder and then a dash of salt. We wanna whisk this up. Now we're gonna bring back our wet ingredients and we're going to add in our dry ingredients to the wet. And it should be a really dry batter, and, but when you push it, it should form together like that. With these dry batters, I like to take some plastic wrap and I'm gonna divide it into two different parts. So we'll have two batches, basically. Put this in the refrigerator for 15 or 20 minutes until it firms up a bit. At this point, what we're gonna do is actually make our little decoration that goes on top to make them look like V-Bucks cookies. And to do that, I just printed up this little design and I printed it to the, sh the size that my cookies are. And what I'm gonna do right here is I just have some wax paper that I taped to a cookie sheet. I'm gonna put this underneath there and use this to trace on. And the only part that I'm actually gonna make here is I'm gonna make the white V, and then these parts which show up white on here are gonna be blue. That's all we're gonna do at this stage. So I have some blue candy melts right here, and I already melted it down. I'm just going to cut a nice size hole, and we're just gonna make like a blue glob like this. I'm just tracing it. And we'll move that as we go, but I just wanna do the white V right now. And you can take the back of a toothpick and just kind of smear it just to smooth it out a little bit. Keep doing that over and over again until you get the number of cookies that you made. Okay, our dough has been in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. We're gonna pull it out, and before we unwrap it, I'm just gonna put some flour on the surface here. Unwrap it out. Now we're just going to roll this out until it's about a fourth of an inch in thickness. Okay, so I'm gonna use this cookie cutter. It's a round cookie cutter. It's just about the size I need. Hopefully it doesn't expand too much. And we're gonna cut out our cookies. Just lay them on a baking sheet that's lined. And the excess dough can be balled up and rolled back out and keep cutting them. Okay, now put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes. 
Okay, so when your cookies come out of the oven, you want to let them cool down completely before we move on to the next step. So in a medium bowl, I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar or confectionery sugar, however you want to call it. And to that, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and about two tablespoons of milk. You just wanna mix this up. And the hard part here is trying to find the right consistency. You want it to run a little bit, and this is just a little too dry, so I have to add some milk, but be very careful because if you add too much, it'll make it too runny. So just a very little bit at a time. And it's still a little too dry, but before I add any more milk, I wanna add some black food coloring. Not much because we're gonna turn this gray, so we just need just one little drop to begin with and see how that does. And the consistency we want is something similar to this where it kind of just runs just like so because we're gonna be flooding these cookies. Now that our cookies have cooled down completely and we've made our gray icing, I'm just gonna cut a very small hole here in this piping bag. I've already put it in there. I'm gonna cut a very small hole and we're gonna pipe these cookies. Um, just go around, we're gonna go around the edge first. Okay, that's probably a bit too small, a little bigger of a cut. Just take a toothpick and kind of work it in. Now what I'm gonna do is come back to our little V's and our little blue lines that we made earlier, and we're gonna actually put them on the cookies. So I'm gonna use something like this just to scoop it up from it so it makes it easier. Take one of those, one of these. So we'll take our V first and just put that right in the middle. Take the blue line. There we go. And there is one of your V-Bucks cookies. Just do the rest of them and you'll have a good old time. Well, now it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna dig into one of these Fortnite V-Bucks cookies Let's see what it does. Mm. It's good. Reminds me of Christmas. V-Bucks, baby. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these V-Bucks uh, Fortnite cookies. It was a lot of fun making these. I hope you get a chance to make it for yourself. And if you do, please share with me on any of my social media at FunFoodsYT. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to get new videos all the time. And make sure you check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. And until then, I'll see you next time.